Hello, my name is Christian Walter from Trade Waller. And uh, we get a lot of comments or a lot of requests to talk about um, this topic, uh, what we would like to present you here today. And this is uh, penny stocks. Uh, I think penny stocks for, yeah, I think for every account size, it's quite interesting. Of course, especially for smaller accounts, because you still have like a good volatility, you can um, buy like bigger quantities, uh, what makes it more interesting than um, buying maybe one Apple share or one Facebook um, stock. So um, um, we have a few symbols which I want to present here, here of the TradeStation 10.0 from TradeStation Securities. But as um, we can find every week quite a lot of interesting penny stocks, we would also include this in our uh, next videos. So if you don't want to miss any of these videos, please subscribe here to our channel. The first um, stock is uh, GS, or the symbol for this is GSAT. Today I just want to talk about the chart or the information what are necessary for us to um, yeah, include this symbol um, in our screening or in our um, scanning tools. And they are like very basic, very simple two facts. The first is um, uh, percentage change should be like higher than five or ten percent and the second thing what's also very important I would say maybe even more important uh, than the percentage change is uh, volume it's not only the absolute volume it's the volume increase um, and secondly also there should be a good volume for you to, to, to trade like bigger positions because the worst thing what can happen is um, you have one million of this um, penny stock um, share and then you can't find uh, opponent to sell these. Um, so it's always important to have this information and to check this information for this um, stock. It's quite interesting because the first um, increasement in um, volume was here, first or second day of this year, where the um, stock already run up to um, 40 cents. So let's say we will change the color. We will um, open a position here at 40 cents because this is also very interesting for your chance risk uh, for your chance risk ratio um, that you have a maximum risk of 40 cents because uh, penny stock can go down to zero or you can lose everything or at least like going back to uh, one to three cents. This is all possible. But on the other hand side, it's similar to maybe options. You have a very um, good chance. So the ratio um, normally, it's quite easy to define. Here I have 40 cents as my maximum loss. And then I always need more than this maximum risk as, um, as a profit. So for example, if I choose here $1 as a target, my position might be um, sold yesterday and um, then you have a chance risk ratio what is 3 to 2 and I think um, when you always check this information like percentage change volume there should be a trend already in your direction of course you can then continue with all the information from the news um, from the uh, finvis.com uh, website what we also presented you as a video you can also check these here then you have a um, very um, high probability that this might be um, a profit profitable trade and uh, the next very interesting thing if these um, two factors or these two information like with the percentage change and the volume is um, really like um, a big increasement then this can happen that you might even uh, close the position on the same day or like two three days so that's also normally not a very long uh, duration where you hold this position in your portfolio normally um, um, it's much uh, an average it's much uh, smaller than um, i would say with um, a large cap or a mid cap position and um, we can see this also here in the chart why this should be um, like this because mainly we can check many penny stocks um, that there's like a huge uptrend and this goes up to ten dollar is possible but you will have uh, less profitable trades with um, with this target if you really want to um, yeah, go up to one thousand percent profit then of course you need to call this position maybe a little bit longer 
but if you have like a smaller chance risk ratio where you say okay I'm, um, for me it's absolutely okay to double my investment to make more than 100 percent that's quite um, yeah fast possible with penny stocks and now uh, we have to check the selection uh, we have a few stocks which are already here in our um, scanner but we can also do this not only with the trade station securities platform you can also um, try to find these symbols with the trader workstation or with many other tools what we will show you in one of our next videos as well and here for example we have another interesting um, stock let's check our information we have a very good volume 11 million this is um, it's really good for opening positions we will see other um, examples later where you can see this volume might be not enough to open um, a good position or to, to place a trade. And here, of course, now um, the stock already went up like 30% from the beginning, what we had also here the first day of the year, where this was um, at 50 cents um, with the volume increasement on the one hand side, uh, but as well um, the percentage um, change. And this is uh, really a perfect example from that day where the volume increased uh, it almost tripled on this day here. Um, the stock went up every day like 10 to 12 percent uh, without a big volatility. Um, I think there's still potential but now it's a little bit harder with your chance risk ratio because if we want to enter here at 80 cents let's say um, I would say interesting is here the last um, uh, the last high from um, October. We still have like I say oops, let's erase this 80 cents. We still have um, yeah 25 cents um, as a profit um, as a possible target. But on the other hand side, when you only want to generate 25 cents, um, your your stop should be, I would say, here somewhere um, 12, 13 cent under the um, actual price so that you still have a good chance risk ratio. So if there's a small um, down movement, it might happen that um, your stop already um, um, yeah, will be executed. And also don't forget, also penny stocks can have gaps. So that's why I always calculate with the worst or the, yeah, the worst case scenario that there might be a bigger loss than uh, what you have here um, set as your stop. Um, but let's continue with some more interesting um, symbols because then you might understand um, the selection a bit, um, a bit better. Here, for example, we have um, another um, stock with the symbol BREZR. Um, and this is just a few days um, listed at the stock exchange. So, of course, this can be exactly what we are looking for. Here, the problem is just um, we only have a few days. We don't have any um, more information than these few days here in the chart. Volume is um, with 800,000, okay. Um, so this can be something for the next days what, um, yeah, what might be interesting um, to make it short and easy, let's say. 37 cent is um, your price where you want to enter this uh, position then you can here set a stop at 20 cents let's say means we have 18 cents uh, risk and um, our target should be there somewhere here 70 75 cent or even 80 cent 80 cent will be perfect then you have a very good chance risk ratio and um, as we see 80 cent was also the highest price of the first trading day so this can be possible that um, there will be another few days um, where we will see an up movement here and now i just want to show you some other examples especially here from the volume because here yeah Totally perfect, 32% um, change, so it's a big up movement, but this is something um, where I say, okay, no chance, the uh, volume of 60,000 stocks per day is just, uh, it's uh, not enough, so uh, 
a chart like this with a volume like this um, will be from my side a no-go for a penny stock because uh, if you really want to trade some higher positions this might cause um, um, some problems if you want to sell your position. So, um, like I said, very simple um, scanning tool with volume today, with the percentage um, change, and of course, it's necessary to define a price. It's not important or it's not really um, necessary to say you only want to have um, positions uh, which are below one dollar. You can also go up to two dollars um, and change the volume. Um, it always depends uh, which trading day uh, or how many signals you get in this trading day and I think um, other than our trades per week we will also include some interesting uh, penny stocks um, every week for smaller portfolios um, and for you it's uh, of course also important to check your commission if you have like less than one cent commission it's also pretty easy the stock will move two cent and you might be in profit um, and um, this is also something where we want to talk about uh, in our next videos as well. So um, yeah, one more time, just um, I will be happy if you subscribe to our channel um, to not miss any of um, our next videos and I hope to see you soon. Uh, thank you very much.